Even if you've been driving for years, trust me, this book will update your existing skills. It's the Essential New Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. Links in the description. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. devil is everyone this week hope everyone is well welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog <coughs> yeah join me on what day are we on tuesday tuesday morning is it tuesday yes yeah, tuesday um you have just seen a time lapse it's of uh, me leaving our dewey this morning um as you all know i went into run just for the weekend you saw in the last video was my my trip down and uh, yeah everything went well by one um, I had uh, it was nine different customers all together and I think it was six six different points the message from that West six or five or six different um, drops themselves because there was a couple that would come off of the same place. Anyway, I digress. Uh, everything went well, in and out, most places. I didn't even have to queue long for uh, Soji Map. Soji Map, I was uh, pretty good because. Um, oh, what was the first name of the first one? Um, <sighs> Lenadja. Um, because Lanadja didn't open until later and Sojimab opens early, I thought, right, I'll start at 9 o'clock local, which is 8 o'clock UK time. And because uh, I only had two pallets for Lanadja, I thought I can move them out the way and get the ones off for Sojimab because I had like four or five pallets for Sojimab, which was like three, two different customers. So I did that, went into Sojimab, uh, was queuing for about 10 minutes, I suppose, waiting to go in there wasn't too bad going went in there he was in a good mood in there as well this weekend which is nice had a bit of a laugh with him uh, got those off and then went around to um, Lenadja uh, took me about whew, six or seven attempts to get onto their bay it's unusual to see someone walking along there um, yeah, six or seven attempts to get on their bay. Yes, that bay is an absolute nightmare. And I mean a nightmare. It's on a blind side, and you've got a bend that's an awkward angle, and then you've got a great big huge wall on the other side. So you've got to be careful that you don't catch a trailer on the outside, and you've got to watch you don't put the wheels over the curb on the inside, because that's a high curb as well. It's an absolute nightmare of a, of a bay. But I got on there and uh, it took me about three attempts to get off it without uh, trying to catch the trailer crazy but anyway did that one no problem at all um what did i have then i had uh rainer went around to rainer i was in and out of there um i had another one and then i had to go into the uh, bbv in the alley got into the alley 
I think it was about 11 o'clock, half past 11. And uh, yeah, uh, it was normally when you get there about that time, there's no vans, no nothing. It was rammed, and I mean rammed. Um, so uh, my colleague that's in the, I still don't know his name, um, I think it's Ben. Uh, the guy that's in the MAN, um, he was in the alley, he, came, he cut through the alley, he said, he said, don't try and get through, he said, it's rammed down there. I said, well, I'm not trying to get through, i got a tip in there, like, you know. So, uh, went round, pulled into the alley, went to see the guy, and uh, he said, uh, park up, parking is what he said. So, right, okay. So I waited about half an hour. And there's vans and trucks and God knows what everywhere. Um, absolute nightmare in there. And then uh, I go back in then and I translate because he doesn't speak a word of English. So I took Google Translate and I said, what bay am I waiting for? And he came out and he went, any bay, any bay. I thought, great, I could have pulled straight on the BBV because there was a BBV uh, bay empty. But by that time, there was something on it, a little van. So he said, anyway, so I'm waiting in the, the place that I was at. Um, waiting to see if anything would come off down that way, nothing. So I moved up the top to see if there was anything up there. I, I walked up to start with, uh, walked up there. Um, there was no base, so I thought, right, I'll take the truck up and hang fire there, see if something comes off any of those bays. Nothing came off. I'm thinking, oh, here we go. It's gonna be one of those. And, and then as you wait in, more and more vans, because I'm pulling on the left. Because I've got a reverse. Yeah, be careful, mate. I got to reverse uh, on my good side, obviously, of the way I go in. I got to wait on the left. As I'm waiting on the left, you got other trucks pulling in on the right, blocking all the base. You can't see what's coming off, and then vans are pulling in behind the lorries on the other side. So every time something comes off, a van jumps straight on there, and you go to have a word with them. They just shrug their shoulders and walk away, because obviously they don't speak English, or they say they don't speak English, and. Yeah, absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Um, I pulled out of there quarter to five in the morning. Over four and a half hours waiting to get yeah, straight on. Um, I had 60, 65 lamps to come off there. And uh, once I actually got on the bay, um, After 300 I yards, had the 65 on. taken off in about I don't know, half hour. Something like that, because he was handballing them off. So. Pulled out of there, went into the last one then, Novaris, went round there and um, I was tipped within 15, 20 minutes, 105 lambs. We had them off in about 15 minutes. Brilliant. So from there then, um, obviously I had to make my way up to Ardui um, and have the trailer washed out at the same time. Uh, so the washout is just down the road from Dada where we pick up in Ardui there. And, um, had the trailer washed out, that didn't take long, and I parked up um, last night, well yesterday morning, parked up at, I think it was about 11 o'clock, half past 11, no it might have been later than that, quarter to 12, quarter to 12 local time is quarter to 11 UK time, that's what it was, 14 and 3 quarter hours, <laughs> what a day, absolute nightmare. Um, so then I uh, <coughs> messaged the office, told them I was in Dewey, told them I dropped the trailer, had it, I've had it, and I'd, I'd had it washed out. Um, and then they sent me a job. Uh, I was supposed to be originally going to Carmarthen um, for tomorrow lunchtime. I said start in the morning, and then you can um, pick it up. And then he said just run through with it. All right, no problem at all. And I went to bed then about mm, three o'clock because yeah, I was absolutely shattered. Um, had a chat with uh, Claire, and then I went to bed. It's about three o'clock I went to bed, something like that. And I woke up at quarter to five this morning. <laughs> 14 hours sleep. <coughs> when I woke up to a message from the office, um, scrapped the last, um, still same plan, uh, delivering midday Wednesday. Uh, but I'm going to North Wales. Crick Crickieth, I think it is. Crickieth in North Wales. So that's what I got on. Um, and I'm also, uh, I've got to go into Gillingham. I got a sample box 
uh, for a customer in uh, Gillingham, which apparently is urgent. So I'm going to be doing that. Am I going to get called into the... Yes, I thought as much. Called into the shed. Um, so yeah, I've got to, so this morning I've got to drop a box off at Gillingham um, and then make my way up towards North Wales. So that's what I'm going to be recording for you today. So we are going through the shed again. Oh. All right. Do 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 do. Bom 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 bom. Just trying to find the uh Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, yeah, the GMR. I'm hoping, because uh, it's all swapped over, IMRN is logged onto a different truck. But apparently, it won't make a difference. It'll be fine. So, we will see. I got my GMR, which is obviously for this trailer and my truck. So that should be all right. And then my MRN there. So I'm hoping I don't get any problems now because the MRN is on a different trailer, uh, truck number, but apparently it'll be okay. All right, let's get through this shed and I will speak to you when I'm on the other side of the shed, um, going down onto the, uh, going through the passport control and booking in and whatever else. So I shall see you in a bit. Toodles. There you go, all done, all sorted, and the uh, MRN was okay. Try to get the all clear now. Make sure that there's nothing coming through the gates now for us to go straight out. Turn left, then turn left. Uh, turn that off now. Alright, so we go and book in now. Good thing about coming out of the shed is you know it's not a, a free-for-all. <laughs> There's only a few of you coming out at the same time, so it's not too bad. Everything was okay. They checked the, uh, obviously, they put the, they put like sensors underneath the trailer, and apparently that can pick up any movement inside or anything like that. So it's all good. Oh, I did that window back up because I got to book in again now. The window's got to come down again. Quite busier today. It's like they're queuing the other side of booking. It's slow going through uh, French passport control. Oh, neutral and brake. So 
know how long I'm going to be stuck here for, so the point is keeping the cameras rolling with that, with just sat you. So once I'm through this lot, I'll come back to you, see what time train I'm catching them. Um, so it'd be pointless me having a look yet because uh, I haven't booked in, so I will have a look once I'm booked in. it up. Uh, sign in. Five departures an hour says 15 minutes to check in and it says fluid from France to UK so hopefully it won't be too long. So now it is nine o'clock local time, eight o'clock UK time so Say once I'm over the other side, then I gotta head to Gillingham because I got that one sample box on which I gotta take over to them and then head up to North Wales. So I'll probably I'll probably stop at Lim tonight. So it'll probably take me up the M6 and I'll stop at Lim and then cut across the 54, I think it is. Down towards Liverpool and into North Wales that way, I would think. But we'll have a look. We shall see, see which way he wants to take me. And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, still holding them at the moment, so. Yeah, once I've gone through you, I'll come back to you. And then uh, we'll go from there then. So see you in a bit. Doodles. Okay. Right, this is different. Apparently they've got a new scanner and they're sending me through it. Um, a load of other trucks as well by the look of it, as you can see in front. Um, so, oh well, I'll we'll put the cameras on and see what these new scanners are like. I'll show you at the same time then. switch off lights so take them off auto because the lights will come on going into the shed something different didn't it well uh, say I booked on now well it's not actually booked onto a train but it says uh, we to home yeah it says 10:39 roughly that I'll be boarding yeah. uh, it's now half past nine so just over an hour so I'll be into Folkestone for 10 14 and then head to Gillingham like they do two trucks at a time. So those two trucks just gone in. So I'll probably mean, or we'll get a red light here now. This is a bit like the one in um, Folkestone. Or whether the drivers have got to get out or not, I don't know. Don't think so. It doesn't look like there's anywhere that the drivers can go. That's interesting. You can see that there on the left is moving up the rail. That's the actual scanner. You can see the light on the left now has gone red. That means there's x-ray scanning. There we go then.
It doesn't look like you get out the vehicle. Guy behind is. And obviously we do. They're getting out, so it looks like I gotta get out. Right. <coughs> I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the pond. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby, get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride, right. first at least is the spot. Feeling fine, drinking Tennessee whiskey, a big blue sky. We're going up, we're coming down. There's a party on the water, it's a hell of a time. We're on the boat, we're killing time. In our own honky tonk with a bottle of wine, we're going up, we're coming down. Cheers to feeling all right, it's a hell of a time. Hello, and we're back in Blighty. Oh. You can tell we're back in Blighty. It is absolutely tipping down with rain. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna rush getting off here. Oop. <laughs> Forgot the radio's on. <laughs> don't get it when I'm over there. Obviously it's DAB and it don't pick the channel up. But, um, yeah, I'm listening. Always listen to smooth. Yeah, you got a 10 kilometer an hour speed limit on the train. Everyone seems to go faster than that, but you got inches to spare either side, so I just take my time. A new message from. Okay, got a message from someone that's not in my phone. <laughs> oh, this is long and tedious. This is when you're at the back of the train. <laughs> but still, take me time. If I take my time, the corners don't get bumped as they did with the previous driver. Corners, sides, front. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay. And we head off. Right, I've got half a tank of fuel. Yeah, half a tank of fuel. So I think I'm gonna stop in stop 24 top up with fuel 
so I'm good for me journey. Wah, here we go, up the hill. Come on, God, blimey, what's going on here? Spinning out. Come on. Tell him, Evie. There you go. Ah. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to stop in stop 24, uh, top up with fuel. Um, I got three quarters of a tank of Ad Blue, so I don't think I'll need any more Ad Blue. Um, but yeah, I'm going to top up with fuel because I say I'm going up to North Wales. So that'll be a, it's a bit of a journey from here. Depending on which way the sat nav takes me, once I've been to Gillingham, um, I might stop at Lim, because I've got a feeling I'm going to be going up the M6 anyway, and then cutting across. So, I might stop at Lim tonight. Uh, there'll be lights on. Uh, stop at Lim tonight, and then I can go across, because it's not delivery till midday, so if I start at uh, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, I still get there pretty early, I would think. But we'll see what happens now. I'm saying I'm going to go to stop 24. Then I'll put in the address for Gillingham, what I'm going to in Gillingham. And then uh, we'll crack on from there. Uh, tell the roads are wet, look. How much water that's kicking up. Truck a bit of a wash. Job done. All right, then, let's get up there, fuel up. And I will um, probably speak to you just before I get to Gillingham, I would think. I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Hello, welcome back. Right, you join me. Uh, just under an hour. Something like that, just under an hour later. As you can see, I'm just coming towards Medway and uh, in towards Gillingham. I am five minutes away from the... Uh, my drop off. I'm just going to see if I can find it now. Oh, wonderful weather. Absolutely shocking. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. I need. I shall have a look. I can't remember the name of the place I'm going to now. But I will have a look. Uh, I spoke to Claire earlier as well. Um, she's on her way to Brighton. So uh, she should be there now tipping. 
for Travis Perkins here this morning. She's all good. She's going to be finishing up on Wednesday next week. Have her up on Thursday. I'll be having a couple of days off as well because uh, obviously she's going uh, to another general anaesthetic, so she needs someone there for the next 48 hours after the op, make sure she's okay. So uh, I've got a couple of days off for that. So I'll have to see what I can do about videos. It might not be a midweek video next week, uh, but I'll do something for, uh, for the Saturday, I should imagine. But we'll see. Never know, I might, get, might even get another video in this week. So I don't know what I'm doing after I've done this uh, North Wales. So I could record whatever I'm doing there. Oh, this helmet's doing my head in now. Keeps dropping off in the middle. I'm going to have to uh, clean the screen, I think, and put a new bit of Velcro up there. We got three minutes, one mile. So it's not too far now. Next roundabout and going left. I tell you, what, I still can't get over the torque on this thing. The pulling power is unreal. I got nearly 24 ton of frozen veg on, and it just pulls like a train. It actually tells me there as well what I've got on the back. It tells me the weights on my three axles on the unit, and it also tells me what weight I've got on the trailer. It's great. I know exactly what I am with it. I've got 23.7 ton on the trailer. And there's Mrs. J, well timed. <laughs> right, um, I'll speak to you in a bit. Toodles. Hello, welcome back. Right, box delivered. That was nice and easy and quick. It's not come out. There we are, gotta get a bit closer. There we are. So that's that sorted. Uh, let the office know I've uh, delivered it. So they're happy as Larry now. And I'm way to Krikias now. Uh, 336 miles. <laughs> it's a fair way. It is taking me the way I thought, uh, up the M6 and then across the 56. So I'm going to head for Lim. Thank you very much. So I'm going to head for Lim tonight, stop at Lim, and then crack on over in the morning. This uh, hasn't got to be there until midday. So I'll just take a nice easy run up today. I'm gonna need a break now in just over an hour. I've got an hour and 17 before I need a break. So, find somewhere to have a little break, booze. Probably gonna turn around here somewhere, right? I gotta go right on around the roundabout of here. Take me back to the M2. I had a 15 while I was uh, waiting to get on the train, so I only need a half hour. So, all depends which way this takes me out. This might take me past Medway Services. If it takes me past Medway Services, I might call in there. I uh, have a half hour in Medway, and I got four and a half hours to run then. That should. Maybe right on the roundabout. Can't we have to limit one it? 
The only reason I want to stop at Lim, I think, is just because it's uh, a little bit more secure than, I think, pulling up on the side of the road, going up towards North Wales. So I don't know of anywhere secured up that way. I might have a look. There might be something. But um, I'll have a look on my brake, and if not, I will go to Lim. Stop at Lim for the night. And then uh, crack on over in the morning, then. So from here, it's seven hours and nine minutes up to North Wales. Uh, I've got three hours and 15 minutes on the clock, so I wouldn't be able to do it in one hit anyway. Uh, so, we'll see. See how the day pans out. See where this brings us out to now, and go from there. As I think, I don't know whether it's still shut, but I know <coughs> this morning the uh, the Darfur crossing was closed because they had someone on the bridge apparently. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit A289. So whether they've uh, this. Uh, using one tunnel either way to get e either side or what I don't know so the traffic could be bad up there so really speaking I should try and get a break before I get up that way um, so I'm not struggling for time then so I'm about probably about 45 minutes away from the M25 Sure, it's taking me that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's taking me over the Darford. Great. So, the yards cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A289, Daneshill. Love the retarder on this as well. So good. I haven't touched the brakes yet. But the brake lights do come on, so people know I'm slowing down behind. Just in case someone says, yeah, you can't do that, don't go to the brake lights. Yes, it does. Cross the roundabout and take the just second saying. exit, <laughs> Dane's Hill. Now I'm on the brakes, just to slow it down a little bit more, make sure we're all clear, and we're all good. Claire was saying it's supposed to be brightening up this afternoon, so let's see if it does, eh? Bit of parking. <laughs> Blocking the pavement up. <clears throat> Next roundabout straight across. Carpet 300 yards across the roundabout. Ah, it's taking me up to the A2, that's what it is. A2, <clears throat> Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Just go straight up the A2 instead of the M2. <coughs> Excuse me. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Yeah. 
happy days. Right then, let's crack on. Let's get this done. And uh, I'll speak to you a bit later on. If anything happens on the way up, I think, think it might be interesting. I'll put the cameras back on, but failing that, I'll speak to you before I get the limp. Or whatever I'm parking. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Join me ooh, a good few hours later. Uh, I'm on the M6, and as you can see on the other side, it is absolutely rammed because they've closed the motorway for resurfacing. So there's obviously an accident earlier on. I would hate to be in that M6 southbound at the moment. It's been about, I don't know, probably gone past about three or four miles worth of traffic now, and it's still at a standstill on the other side. Crazy. Uh, right, I have got ooh, an hour and 12 minutes left on my second four and a half. And I've got seven hours 48 for the day. Um, so, might be going over a nine, quite possibly. Uh, I'm hoping I can get to limp. Otherwise, they're going to have to have another break and then possibly head down to 56. I know there's a, uh, a road chef on the 56 that I could probably stop at. But again, I don't know whether I've got the time to do that. So, as long as traffic's flowing okay now, I should get to limp. Should. Now look at it. On the other side, still rammed over there. Don't know how long it's been closed for. But when I passed where they're... Um, <coughs> resurfacing there's literally a row after row after row of um, tippers uh, where rigid tippers waiting to obviously pick up all the, the rubble that they're digging up <coughs> so the road must have been contaminated or something I haven't heard of any but I haven't been listening to the radio today so I don't know um, but yeah it's gonna be a lot of uh, Drivers over that side now probably going to be going over their hours. It's just getting late in the day now. It's five past six, and it's still relatively light. So the days are drawing out a bit now. Um, but yeah, the, you know some of them will have started at four o'clock this morning. And they've only got the seven on a fifteen, and they're all stuck in that lot. Absolute nightmare. That's going to be a lot of printouts tonight. And there we go. It's just the end of it now. Look. It's going to be about six miles worth of tailbacks out, so taking them off at a junction. Uh, there we are. Um, so, <coughs> I've got a message from the office, from the boss, um, asking if I can tip this ASAP in the morning. Um, so I was told it was a 12 o'clock booking. But if I can get it tipped ASAP, then I'm going down to Lanard Bidder, with a customer down there, uh, to load the trailer. And that's probably going to be back to the yard, I would think. Something like that. So, at the moment I'm still three hours away. So by the time I pack up in Lim, I'll probably about have about two hours in the morning. So I'll have a nine off tonight. I was gonna have 11, but I'll have a nine tonight. Start early, crack on over to uh, Krikieth and see if I can get this tip first thing and then uh, head over for the reload. That's the plan. But uh, we will see how the evening goes. Uh, as I said, as long as I don't get traffic now, I should get to Lim. So we 
we'll just have to wait and see, see how it goes. Uh, Claire's packed up, I've just been talking to Claire for about probably almost two hours on the phone. Um, and she's packed up in Reading now. Uh, one of her colleagues are there, so uh, she's got someone to talk to tonight. <coughs> um, but no doubt she'll just catch up on her, on her soaps, on the iPad. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I got caught up on the 25, there was an accident on there, so that held me up. I had to pull off uh, at the A10 to have a break, because I completely forgot to pull into um, Dartford Services. So I had to pull off at the A10, have a break there, uh, found a little place that I could park in. Um, and then I cracked on up after that then. So, a load of, tra load of traffic coming up the M6 towards the M5 junction, that was quite slow. Uh, there's roadworks at the bottom of the M1, that was quite slow. So I've been delayed quite a bit. But, hey ho, all sent the test, isn't it? At the end of the day. But we're traveling okay at the moment now. So we just have to wait and see see how this goes getting up the limb now I'm trying to think what junction number of limb is I think it's 19 either 19 or 20 something like that just by the M56 so I want to go down the 56 but what I'll do is I'll come off for limb and then I can when I come out of limb in the morning then I can just pick up the 56 from limb and crack on over them I reckon I'm about 45 minutes away from, from Lim, so we see how that goes. So I just thought I'd uh, come back and show you the road closure and the traffic and let you know how I was getting on. But we're doing okay. And hopefully I'll get over in the morning now nice and early, get that tipped off, and then uh, crack on over to get the reload. I'll either be back to the yard or maybe a swap with someone because it's uh, it's one of the loads that normally goes out across the water so unless it's obviously a delivery in the UK but normally out of where I'm collecting from it's normally uh, a Europe job Belgium or, or Belgium Holland all that sort of thing so on the 500 as well hey so that's about all I can tell you at the moment I think um, oh I take this opportunity now to just say if you are watching and you're not subscribed then why not contemplate pressing that subscribe button free of charge don't cost you a penny and then you can uh, press the old bell notification get notifications when my videos come out and uh, also go check out Ben aka The Breeze check his YouTube channel out and uh, if you like what you see go and give him a sub that's his DHL wagon um, and also not forgetting the good old Captain Slow on Facebook. Go and have a look at his Facebook page and uh, give him a follow. And you can also follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and of course you can with The Breeze as well. So uh, why not go check them out? I'm at Trucker Jenko on both platforms. I don't use that X anymore, the old Twitter. Don't bother with that anymore. But uh, there's a few people have said to me I should start doing TikTok. But I haven't got a clue on TikTok not a scooby-doo so if I don't know what I'm doing I just leave it be that's me in thank you very much on the back of this trailer at night looks the dogs it's got double sets of lights on the back and 
lights up above the doors and if I remember when I do my walk around in the morning I'll uh, I'll put the cameras on and show you it does look nice so I think it's a, a relatively new one it's a Sheru and uh, yeah it's lovely to pull very nice all that queue in for the 500 as well look just passed the sign saying that there was a delay on the A50 just past the A500 so that's probably why they're all queuing well, at least it stopped raining it's one thing it's actually stopped raining for two minutes absolutely tumped it down this morning oh there we are I'm waffling now right let's crack on and I will speak to you either when I get to Lim or just before I get to Lim one of the two. I'll speak to you in a bit. Toodles. Hey guys, how are we doing? Right, <clears throat> it's the end of the, I'm at the end of the second day, but this video is going to go on for too long. Um, I'm literally in the middle of editing it at the moment, as you can see. And uh, <clears throat> if I just uh, show you how many clips I've got on this one, uh, if I zoom it in on there, look. Uh, everything that's got a little green thing on that um, that is what I've put in the video so far and the ones without the green tags which is those ones there 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 and there that's a continuation of this video okay <laughs> and so <clears throat> it's gonna be very very long this one is at the moment 54 minutes so I think there's about at least another hour's footage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here and then I'm going to continue it on for Wednesday's vlog. So I've got something for you to come out, uh, go out with on Wednesday. And then that means I can record early part of next week for next Saturday. Because obviously I'm off next Thursday and Friday for Claire going into hospital. So I just thought I'd make this little piece. Show you what I'm doing. And just do a nice little outro with it. Rather than just saying to be continued. Um, I'm parked up um, in... Uh, what am I? Pont Ambram Services. Uh, it'll all be revealed in the next video what's happened um, but um, yeah <laughs> thanks for watching guys do appreciate it um, whatever you're doing guys be safe be good and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one toodles <laughs>